An ascocarp, or ascoma, plural, ascomata, is the fruiting body, sporocarp, of an ascomycete phylum fungus. It consists of very tightly interwoven hyphae and may contain millions of asci, each of which typically contains four to eight ascospores. Ascocarps are most commonly bowl-shaped, apothecia, but may take a spherical clystothecia, or flask-like parathecia form. Classification the ascocarp is classified according to its placement in ways not fundamental to the basic taxonomy. It is called epigis if it grows above ground, as with the morels, while underground ascocarps, such as truffles, are termed hypogeus. The form of the hymenium is divided into the following types, which are important for classification. Apothecia can be relatively large and fleshy, whereas the others are microscopic, about the size of flecks of ground pepper. Apothecium An apothecium is a wide, open, saucer-shaped or cup-shaped fruit body. It is sessile and fleshy. The structure of the apothecium chiefly consists of three parts, hymenium, upper concave surface, hypothecium, and exipulum. The ASCI are present in the hymenium layer. The ASCI are freely exposed at maturity. An example are the members of dictyomycetes. Here the fertile layer is free, so that many spores can be dispersed simultaneously. The morel, morshella, an edible ascocarp, not a mushroom, favored by gourmets, is a mass of apothecia fused together in a single large structure or cap. The genera Helvella and Gyrometra are similar. Cleistothecium A cleistothecium is a globose, completely closed fruit body with no special opening to the outside. The ascomatal wall is called peridium and typically consists of densely interwoven hyphae or pseudoparenchyma cells. It may be covered with hyphal outgrowth called appendages. The ASCI are globose, deliquescent, and scattered throughout the interior cavity i.e. as in urotium or arising in tufts from the basal region of ascocarps as an aricef. In this case the ascocarp is round with the hymenium enclosed, so the spores do not automatically get released, and fungi with cleistothecia have had to develop new strategies to disseminate their spores. The truffles, for instance, have solved this problem by attracting animals such as wild boars, which break open the tasty ascocarps and spread the spores over a wide area. Cleistothecia are found mostly in fungi that have little room available for their ascocarps, for instance those that live under tree bark, or underground like truffles. Gymnothecium Similar to a cleistothecium, a gymnothecium is a completely enclosed structure containing globose or pear-shaped, deliquescent ASCI. However, unlike the cleistothecium, the peridial wall of a gymnothecium consists of a loosely woven tuft of hyphae, often ornamented with elaborate coils or spines. Examples are the gymnoascus, taleromyces and the dermatified arthroderma. Parathecium Parathecium, these are flask-shaped structures opening by a pore or osteole, short papilla opening by a circular pore through which the ascospores escape. The osteolar canal may be lined by hair-like structures called periphyses. The unitunicate ASCI are usually cylindrical in shape, born on a stipe, stalk, released from a pore, developed from the inner wall of the parathecium and arise from a basal plectenchyma centrum. Examples are members of spherials and hippocrales. Parathecia are also found in xylaria, dead man's fingers, candle snuff, nectria, claviceps and neurospora. Pseudothecium this is similar to a parathecium, but the ASCI are not regularly organized into a hymenium and they are bitunicate, having a double wall that expands when it takes up water and shoots the enclosed spores out suddenly to disperse them. Example species are apple scab, Venturia inoqualis, and the horse chestnut disease, Guignardia esculi. See also Basidia carp Canidium. References